Well, those stories ahead, but first at five, students at a Montgomery County University are disappointed after the announcement that both the men's and women's swimming teams will sit out the remainder of the season. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Ursinus College says the decision comes after an investigation found student athletes broke the anti-hazing and code of conduct policies. Reporter Joe Holden spoke with students. He joins us with the latest. Joe? Good evening. The college sent out word about this death penalty for the swim teams on Friday rather quietly. And since then, on this college campus, there has been rampant speculation on the reasons behind the harsh penalty. No one's talking about what actually forced Ursinus College to scrap the men's and women's swim team programs for the rest of the season. People are talking about it on campus, but not a lot of people, like I said, know what's going on. The college quietly released a statement right before the weekend, saying both teams had violated anti-hazing and student code of conduct policies. Dan Powell, a senior, used to be on the team before an injury. He says the college blew it and overreacted at its punishment. It felt like there were a lot of pieces that just came to conclusions. I feel like it was kind of a power move to show like, hey, we don't tolerate that thing here and came down like super way too hard on kids who genuinely, I feel, didn't deserve it. Men's swim coach Mark Feinberg was placed on probation. According to the college, he did not respond to an email seeking comment. Ursinus College turned down requests for on-camera interviews, telling CBS3 it wanted to look forward. The spokesperson did not respond to a follow-up email with a list of specific questions. Collegeville police confirmed they were never called about any incident. Powell claimed none of this made sense, knowing the culture of the swim program and socializing on campus. When it came to the party scene, like, it was always like, you know, make sure you're comfortable, make sure you're talking to people, we, you, know, and, you know, make sure that you know someone there that you're comfortable being with. And I am told that some members of the swim teams are now actually considering transferring. We did reach out to the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office. They tell me it is their policy not to comment on the existence of investigations. Live in Collegeville, Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Joe, thank you.